Okay, so I want to show you guys how you can use Facebook sharing and what does it even mean? How does it work? Um, essentially, what Facebook sharing is, is when you share a link, for example, this link that we have for this landing page. Um, if I republish this, uh, you'll get to see the uh, page. It's a very simple page. I just picked a template from uh, Infusionsoft landing page. Uh, uh, templates and I just published it without making any changes but um, idea is to show how Facebook sharing works so when I click on this share URL button right over here one of the options is obviously sharing on Facebook now what Facebook does is anytime you share a page it creates a, a little thumbnail or a, a little preview kind of thing uh, that kind of tells the visitor what they're visiting essentially uh, when they click on the link. Um, it usually has a title, it has some description, it has um, a URL and then it usually also has a little thumbnail on the side. Uh, the thumbnail sometimes shows on the side, sometimes it shows on the top depending on uh, how it generates the preview for the page. So right now you can clearly see that it's created something very generic uh, that's part of the page. It pulled the content from the page and it just uh, uh, created it over here. So how do you customize this? Obviously, you can put a message over here uh, and you know write all sorts of messaging, but how do you change this? How do you customize this? So we'll go over that uh, in this quick video. So I'll go ahead and close this and I click leave. Um, I'll get to the Facebook sharing and as you remember uh, I can change the title so I can call it anatomy of a landing page that converts okay uh, like that um, the URL is something um, I'll leave it as what it is right now because I'm not using any custom domain option but you can once you have the custom domain set up for example you're pointing it to uh, one of your subdomains, for example, you know, giveaway.yourwebsite.com, you'd want to put that over here also. And then in the description, usually it pulls information right from the page uh, that you want. Um, you can add a customized description. So you can say, get the best results out of your next landing page design for example um, and I'll just keep it short for the demo purposes and one more thing that I can do here is I can add a different image so rather than uh, no image showing up at all or sometimes it generates the thumbnail from this thumbnail that we have over here it might just show this as the image and sometimes Facebook just does not update it so uh, it's a good idea to add a customized image and what I have is I have this uh, image right over here um, once I upload it you might be able to see it better so um, I have this image that I want to use and uh, according to Facebook you know uh, share so if I do Facebook uh, share thumbnail size uh, they recommend that you upload an image size that's either this dimension uh, 1200 by 630 or 600 by 315 these are the two uh, best practices for sharing a thumbnail of, uh, of an image that you're sharing so the one that I have is 1200 by 630 um, so this is what uh, it looks like right over here so this is the image I want uh, to show up when I click on share or when and when, anytime this URL is essentially shared on Facebook so once that is done uh, once you upload the image you will get this set of instructions to follow so it says ensure the image above uh, is the one that you want on Facebook uh, republish the page uh, after uploading the new image so we'll go ahead and click on this republish button what this does is it just brings all this content live into the page uh, all together and then use the button below to open the Facebook debugger essentially so it'll crawl through the page again uh, is what it will do so I'll click on this button right here 
the big blue button and then over here it'll tell me that you know it was scraped seven minutes ago so all I have to do is I have to click on this button that says scrape again and right now this is the information that's showing right here in the link preview so once I click on sh scrape again and you may have to click on this over and over until Facebook finds the right information so it already uh, pulled the new information for me but it did tell me that you know this image could not be downloaded uh, this is because uh, due to several different results, uh, reasons such as your server being unsupported content encoding this happens on and off but overall like if you keep on clicking scrape again there it is see once I clicked on it again now this is how my post will look like now this looks a lot better than you know what we had before what we originally when we clicked on the share link and so now it's scraped again it did bring the image and it did bring the right uh, title and the right description on the page so now if I ever copy this link or if, even if I click on the share URL button and if I click on Facebook you will notice that it has a really nice uh, presentable sharing option right over here so hopefully this kind of gives you a full overview of how uh, Facebook sharing tab works and what you can do it uh, do with it when you're sharing your um, uh, pages on Facebook and how you can make them look prettier.